I say that every vlog. When am I gonna stop? I don't know, probably never. But what's up, y'all? It's Sandra, Black Girl White Co. Happy to be back on this beautiful day. The birds are chirping, the sun is shining. Um, yeah, what's up? Thanks for tuning in once again. As I always say, I really appreciate all y'all who have been subscribed to my channel for so long. Um, since I started medical school, since I started this channel, 2016, y'all. It is now June, the end of June, 2019. And I am a fourth year medical student now. Um, things are crazy. I'm like, I'm almost at the end and it's kind of surreal. Um, it's kind of like an out of body experience. And I'm super happy and super excited and super grateful when I look back and like see all that I went through, all that I've been through, all that I made it through. But at the same time, it's not even senioritis. It's just like all the, it's just been a long journey and it's a lot of delayed gratification. I think that's, that's my like, if anybody was to ask me what is medical school, I would say delayed gratification because it, I'm 25 going on 26, you know, by the time I graduate. Um, and I know that's not old. I know I'm young. So y'all don't have to put in the comments like you're younger than me. Blah, blah, blah. I know, but like, it just feels like such a long time. It feels like I've been in school, like all my life because I've been in school all my life. You no, know, we're, that's, that's my struggle right now. That's what I'm struggling through. Coming, coming to terms with the fact that this journey is gonna require a little bit more patience for me. This journey is gonna require um, a lot more delayed gratification and I'm just gonna have to get comfortable in knowing that. Um, I do have my moments where I'm like, uh, like why am I even here? Like what the heck, like this is taking forever. Um, but honestly, I have more moments where I'm like, God, you are so good. I remember when I used to pray for time, I used to pray for time like this to grow. Those times when I'm super thankful and super grateful, whether it's because, you know, I just have this like random feeling of joy and peace, um, or whether it's because messages that you guys send me randomly on Instagram or in my emails or whatever. So anyways, long story short, all this to say is I am struggling a little bit with patience and as I come to the end of this medical school journey, um, the wonder about the unknown and where I'm gonna go and you know what's gonna happen in the next coming months is starting to really set in. But at the same time, I'm super thankful, super grateful, not only for where I am, but for you guys for supporting me every step of my journey as I've been super transparent and super real which y'all, um, it's not always easy, trust me, but I mean, I feel like I'm here for a purpose and I feel like I'm fulfilling my purpose through Black Girl White Coat, so yeah, that's my soap. It is a special day right now, today, because I am traveling to Atlanta for my first away rotation. So we're gonna back it up a little bit because I know some of y'all will be watching this vlog for the first time, don't even know who I am. Okay, my name is Sam. And so I wanna go into emergency medicine. I answered that question on my Instagram so many times, but everybody seems to not know what I'm going into. Emergency medicine is what I aspire to go into, y'all. By the grace of God, in 2020, I'll be graduating with a secured spot in an emergency medicine residency program. So for EM, um, you have to do a home rotation or a home sub I, which is what I just finished. Um, a sub I is like, I think it's a sub, I think it stands for sub internship, but it's like an acting internship or like you're an acting intern, whatever that means. It's a little bit more than what a third year would do, what a fourth year would do. Um, they kind of want you to get a feel of what it would be like in our or in their residency program as an intern starting off, you know, getting your feet wet with more procedures, um, taking care of more patients and having a little bit more responsibilities. I think that's the coolest part of fourth year. I was looking forward to this from the beginning of third year. So I'm really excited to have started my fourth year at um, at home on a home rotation also with emergency medicine it's not mandatory but highly recommended actually I don't know who would not do it but we also do away rotations where you go away from your home institution so your home school and you go to other schools emergency medicine programs and do the same sub I AI whatever you want to call it um, elective fourth year whatever you want to call it you do the same thing for four weeks at a different institution so that is what I am gearing up to do um, and I'm going to Atlanta um, I'm gonna be at Emory and then I'm going to Minneapolis and, um, and I'm super excited to just start something new and just to be in a new place and um, I'm gonna be on my own so I'm kind of nervous kind of 
a little weary and I don't know. I'm going to be on my own for the first time ever for that period of time. Um, I was born and raised in Houston. I went to school in Waco, so that's only three hours away from Houston. So I've been really close to family and friends pretty much all my life. So this will be a little different, especially Minneapolis. Um, but I'm so excited. I'm, I look forward to it. Uh, I love emergency medicine, and I've just enjoyed my home rotation so much and I've had so much confirmation that this like this field this this specialty is exactly what I should be going into that I feel confident going to these places I'll be gone for the next two months and I'm super excited I just finished packing y'all can't see but my room is a mess um I'm about to head to the airport in like an hour and uh yeah I just wanted to come on and let y'all know where I'm at what I'm doing I will be vlogging this away rotation experience with as much detail as I can provide but that might not be me. all right so that's what I've been doing I just got off my emergency medicine first rotation of emergency medicine ever in medical school it came as the first rotation I did fourth year before that I took step two um, clinical knowledge so step two CK yeah so that was um, that was a beast we'll have a whole nother video about step one and step two coming in the future I don't I can't even say near future because I don't even know when I want to talk about those tests they're crazy um but yeah we'll have a vlog about that so i did step two and then i went into my emergency medicine rotation at home and now i'm gearing up today in a couple hours actually to head to the airport and be out to emory in atlanta so other than giving you guys a little life update i did want to give you guys a first look at my first time da -da 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 -da. buying figs y'all i have never bought figs before i've never purchased scrubs period like all my scrubs come from scrub machines at the hospital so i was really excited to try figs i'm sure all of you guys know about figs whatever whatever but let's see what their sizes are like let me tell y'all because one thing i was scared about when ordering um what are these called when ordering scrubs from like all these online boutique or online companies or whatever was how it was gonna fit you know your girl is thicker than a snick you know what i'm saying <laughs> Your girl got some thighs, got some hips, got a booty, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. These hospital scrubs are really rectangular shaped. So in order for me to fit like my bottoms, they have to be like a large or an extra large. And that's not really cute because they're super baggy, but that's the only way I don't, I feel like my thighs and my butt aren't stealing the show when I'm seeing patients, you know what I'm saying? So, and then I have to get like a different, a smaller size on top. So it's really weird. So I was hoping that maybe figs would have some stretch in it. It says four way stretch. I don't really know what that means, but we're about to see. And y'all know me, I keep it honest. I keep it 100. So we're about to see. But if y'all top heavy, like me, but like your waist is smaller and then you have a little wider hips and thighs, then we'll see. Alrighty, so positions are changed to get a better look and um, figs, you know, in case you didn't know what I was talking about. So let's unbox this bad boy. Three. You know, I don't know why I'm reading this like this, but I see when people open things on um, YouTube, they usually read everything. I ain't got time for that, it's a receipt. <laughs> it's a tag. But okay, so I got navy blue and black scrubs because those are the color of scrubs I like the best. Um, if I do like them, I am so down to order more colors, but we have to see what this fit is like though. These are the blue Cade cargo pants and, and they're tall. And, and they're in size large. Okay, so just looking at them, the fabric is amazing. <laughs> the fabric is amazing. I do feel that stretch in there, okay. These are really cute. They're straight leg, I didn't get the joggers. They look kind of big. They look like they may be too big. I don't know. Let me put right. it. Yes. Okay, fig Sandra. Okay, fig Sam. Sam fig. So this is I was having a lot of trouble putting on this and recording myself to where I would like the way it looked in my room. So we have to come out here to my living room. Sorry for the lighting, but this is a full set. You know, really quick. Bottoms are in a large, the top is in a medium. I told y'all that I have a smaller waist, bigger hips and butt, and a fuller bust. 
So the top is a medium, large, and let me tell y'all, the stretch is everything that they rave about. The stretch on these pants are amazing. I could definitely get away with a medium in the pants. Okay, I just pulled this extra tight and that's fine. And I'm sure I'm gonna be washing this a million times, so who knows what the size will do then. So I think I'm gonna keep this set, a large bottom and a medium top. It looks amazing. I love the way the top fit. The top fits like the best to me. Um, and then the bottoms are really good too. They are super soft, super stretchy. They feel super comfortable. And I'm so happy I got tall in length because now I don't have to flood through the hospitals. And yeah, I can be cute or whatever. These are them. Let's go try on the second set. Yes, sis, I don't know, black is my favorite color to wear. So a couple things about this one, there are way more pockets. I have a pocket here, pocket here, two here, and a zipper here. A zipper pocket um, so that's really cool pockets are amazing if you work in the emergency room or if you work in a hospital period pockets are exactly what you need to get by to survive um, so I'm really liking this black set it is comfortable the stretch is still there oh we have a pocket right here too look at that look at that um, the top is the same as the previous top in a medium so it fits the same and I love it black of course is always just amazing um, the waistband on these pants are not as comfortable or cute or I think secure or not secure but like snug fitting as the other pants but these this waistband is still fine does the job I did have to pull extra tight and I still do have a lot extra space back here where it is like the elastic scrunchy part however these ones make my butt look better somehow some way not gonna show y'all that but they do um, so these are cute too I'm gonna keep them when I saw skinny online, I definitely expected a little more skinny, but this is fine. Um, it definitely looks like a straight leg or maybe some sort of taper, but all in all, I'm a fan. So the fabric of figs, I feel like is the best part because this fabric feels like, I don't know, unicorns and diamonds because it's just really comfortable. Even the top has like a good stretch to it. It's soft. It seems durable, reliable, thick enough. Will I order more? Definitely. I will definitely order more. Y'all just hit me up when y'all got a sale and I'm back. So hopefully this helps y'all.